Everybody watch out, because we're going to tee one up nice, and we're headed to the country of Sri Lanka. And there's a lot of great golf, so I would subscribe below, because we're going to be looking at the top seven golf courses in this country. And there's not much golf out here to choose from. Now, we were able to break down the seven golf courses that we were able to find. So let's head down to the Southern Providence, and we're going to look at a nine-hole golf course on a military base. It's going to start us off. So there it is. It's a par 63 right there on the water. Really unique golf course. Let us know if you played it. It's 2,767 yards with a slope of 117 and a ranking of 34.6. It looks like it was built in 2015. Couldn't find any footage on this course. We're able to find two pretty good pictures to kind of get us started and moving in this incredible country that has some great golf. So the next course is in the northern central part of the country. It's another nine-hole golf course. It's not pushing it past the top five. It's a resort semi-private course listed online and has a ranking of 32.7 it also is a par 35 and a slope of 113 and it's about 2,709 yards not much information on this golf course again this golf course is running alongside the runway which is pretty unique pushing it over to number six but as we zoom in it looks like the golf course could be up there on the north hand side uh, right here as we zoom up and I don't think that's a golf course, though. It looks like there was a golf course. But here's some of the pictures that we're able to find as you zoom in. There it is. It's solved. It's right there on the uh, the runway. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. And that's going to move us into the top five golf courses already in this country. And again, there's only seven or eight golf courses to choose from. Golf courses are being developed here as we speak. So this list is going to constantly change. And we're moving into another Eagle-style course. It's got the name in it. And this one is Eagles Links, Eagles Golf Links. Now, whoa, here we are finally at an 18-hole golf course. So we were able to get some good aerial view of this course right there on the water. This looks like it should be a little bit higher on this list. Course is located in the Eastern Providence. It's a par 62, and it is 6,800 and two yards look at that right there now here we are with some pretty good footage of this golf course we're hoping that this is the right one now there is a lot to like about this golf course here it is listed as a resort but i'm pretty sure it's a military golf course and let us know if we get that wrong that might be completely off it's got bermuda grass it was built in 2012 and we're going to put this down for a second we're going to check to see if it is a military base points to a Air Force golf course here. At least the website has some sort of military Air Force background. This looks incredible. It's probably open to the public. That's where the confusion's coming from. Let us know if we get it right. Now, it's going to move us into the top four golf courses now. Four golf courses, and all of them probably should be top one. So, let's zoom into the southern part of the country. And let's look at this golf course right there on the water. And just starting off, unbelievable water everywhere on this golf course. Bring a bucket of balls because you're going to need it at this unbelievable golf course here. So we got 18 holes here, and it's a par 70. The course was built in 2016 by Ronnie White, golf designer, and it is only 6,107 yards. It's definitely a resort private golf course here. And let us know if you played it. This looks like a pretty popular golf course, golf area. I mean, look at this resort style of course. A lot of things to do here. Um, but let's let's zoom out because we got the top three golf courses left to look at in this country. And again, each one is compact. Each one has a lot to offer. So we're going to zoom in to that number three golf course. And another one just outside the water. And you're probably wondering, where's the water? Well, this is course has a little bit of history to it and it packs a punch course stretches 6,560 meters that last course might be meters instead of yards I might have got that one wrong so just put a note in there uh, this one is a private golf course and is a par 71 at least it's listed as it. it's a slope of 127 and a ranking of 71.3 now here is where things get interesting 
The course was built in 1897 and has a railroad system going right through it. This was some great footage that we were able to pull, and this is why it moved to our number three on this list. A very unique golf course with a lot of history. Looks like it was official in 1897. The Alford Model Farm uh, was officially converted into this golf club. And then some things changed in 1926. Uh, King George VII or something, I don't know, called it Royal. So that's where you got the Royal from. So it looks like something happened in 1928. 20, All right, whatever. Let's zoom out and go into the top two golf courses now left in this country. The last one had a lot of history. That's why I pushed it over to the edge. But now we're looking at some incredible golf courses right in the middle of the country. And this one, as you can see, it's very green. So let's zoom in and look at this incredible 18-hole golf course. At least that's what it looks like. What's throwing me off is, is it a par 73? And it's long. It's 6,933 6 yards. It is a resort-style golf course. And it's a Donald Steele course, 1999. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. And it looks like some other knuckleheads uh, ended up getting involved in this design of the course in 1999. So a little bit of, uh, not too much history, but look at this. This course is unbelievable. Let us know if you played this golf course. It's been named top 10, top 100 golf courses all over the world. But now we're able to really plug it in into top two golf courses now in this country. Just like that, there's only one more golf course to look at. Now we left the bet we left the best for last. And if you made it this far, congratulations. I recommend subscribing because you're interested in some more golf across this country. I would subscribe. Now here we are. We're zooming into the top golf course. And there's a lot of history with this top golf course. It was built in 1887. It's got buffalo grass and bluegrass greens. It's a par 70 that stretches 6,070 yards with a slope of 129 and a ranking of 68.7. Now, it's very arguably not the top golf course. There's some golf courses that probably have been should, should have moved a little bit higher on this list. But this golf course packs a little bit of everything with the history, with just the uh, the views that we were able to pull on this golf course. That's it. And let us know if we got it wrong or if there's a golf course that is happening right now being built. Because there's a few that's going to top this golf course. We're updating this pretty soon. And that's going to do it for this list. Heads Keep up. a lookout for more videos to come. This is World Twilight Offer.